What up, y'all? I wanted to respond to Bonnet Mom. Um, so, um, you know, she's talking a lot about uh, public school versus homeschooling and, and um, how liberal certain areas are compared to other areas. And, you know, I, I get it. I really do. Um, I've got a lot of different thoughts about it, I suppose. Um, one of them just being like, uh, we always want things to be better. We always know that there's room for improvement and we strive to, to, we strive for perfection in our world. And, and it's just, it's just impossible to hit. And because perfection is impossible to hit and to achieve, you still have a lot of idealists out there who say, well, um, we don't like the system the way it is right now, so we're going to try to socialize things. And so, like, you know, the, the socialists kind of put forth their answer. And their answer is always, um, well, make the rich pay for it, you know? Or, or just throw money at it in general and just tax the general public or, or whatever. And um, uh, that's kind of what Bonnet has a problem with. And I don't blame her for having a problem with that because... Um, we're, we're just in such a broken system right now. And uh, throwing money at a problem doesn't work. And then you have, well, whose money are we gonna throw at it, right? Because the, the, the government doesn't create anything. It just, government just takes money out of uh, hand A and puts it in hand B. That's all government really does. They don't produce anything. You know, the, the, the free market and people who work are people who actually produce things and produce wealth. The government just shuffles it around and, and makes promises of what we're going to do with, with the wealth that the country has generated. And the government even, even, uh, pretends to have wealth by creating debt. Right. So, um, we got all these problems, but I want to, I don't want to get too general about the whole thing. We are talking about education, but it does tie into education because what you're basically talking about is is um, uh, what do we do with the people who uh, are are born in certain uh, bad circumstances? Um, and there's a whole array of things that you could say about them. You know, some people are just uh, extremely see themselves as extremely kind and generous and they say well just give them everything you know give them what give them the opportunities that 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 everybody else has but the problem with that is that you're not being generous with your own money you're being generous with other people's money you know you're you've got this kind and generous heart but you don't have the funds to actually make it happen so so what do you say you say well tax the rich and and you know not only tax the rich but like let's let's enroll you know um poor people into uh, a rich school district and bust them all the way across town so that they can, you know, uh, partake. And I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying what's right and what's wrong. I'm just saying this is what happens. Um, and it's just all part of a broken system. And really, you know, the biggest problem is the parents, you know, because the kids don't really know any better. The kids don't, the kids didn't ask to be born into this situation. The parents are the ones who had opportunities um, pass them up, right? The parents are the ones who had an opportunity to go to college and they didn't. The parents are the ones who can't hold a job. The parents are the ones who are alcoholics or are addicted to drugs or whatever. And they don't, and they're just, you know, crapping out kids left and right because they don't use protection. And, and you know, and it's like the rest of society has to pay for their mistakes. Well, do we have to pay for their mistakes? I don't know. That's actually the, the question that I'm posing in this video is do we have to pay for their mistakes? But you know, um, wow. But you know, um, my heart goes out to children. My heart really goes out to children because children unfortunately end up being sort of the collateral damage of the whole situation, you know? I mean, you have an irresponsible piece of garbage who uh, 
you know, is just slinging his junk around all over the place, and he has, you know, six baby mamas and, and uh, you know, 13 children with six baby mamas, and he's not paying child support to any of them, and, you know, yeah, the baby mama was stupid for sleeping with him, and he was stupid for not using a rubber and all this stuff, but then, but then you got the kids who... They're the product of all this, and they're the ones who really get hurt, along with the rest of society. But the, you know, the kids are innocent in this thing, and that, and that's the toughest thing about it is that you know, looking at these kids and saying, you know, it really sucks that you're in this position. You know, you're raised in a um, a low income environment, uh, whether it's a inner city environment or it's a um, trailer park or whatever it is, or maybe you're in a family, but you're you know, one of a, a baker's dozen of kids and, you know, your parents can't afford to send you to college and your parents don't have the time to help you with your homework and your parents don't have the time to teach you manners or, or they're not making the time or whatever. And um, it's, it's, it's the kids who are the problem, but it's also the kids who it's not their fault that they're the problem. So what do we do with these poor kids? You know, what do we do with these poor kids? How do we keep this from happening? Well, there's been plenty of um, solutions that have been put forth, especially back in the day, like a hundred years ago. You know, they would say, "Well, shit, just sterilize." You know, these people. You know, sterilize the the retarded people and sterilize the you know th this group of people and that group of people so they don't have kids. And I hate to say it, but um, that worked. But but then it's like you're taking away their freedoms. You know, to to have children, but it's really like, well, do they deserve to have the freedoms to have children when what they're really doing is burdening the rest of society? So I don't know the answer, man. I don't know the answer. All I know is that there's shit tons of kids in this country that um, have shitty parents, like millions and millions of children who have shitty parents, who um, they, they would be completely uneducated if there wasn't the, the public school system. So, um, the public school system is, it's, it's not the problem. It's a shitty solution to a really bad problem is what it is, you know, and that's kind of what socialism basically tends to be. You have, um, unbridled foolishness going on in the human race people wasting money, people having kids when they shouldn't be having kids, people doing all kinds of things they shouldn't be doing. And they pass legislation to make all of society take care of those people instead of those people um, bearing the responsibility for their own um, bad decisions. Um, you know, you got people, so I talked about people on one end of the spectrum who are just like, yeah, let's just be generous to them and just give them everything, even though they don't have anything to give them. They just want to take the rich people's money and give it to them. And then you got people on way out, way on the other side of the spectrum who are just like, fuck them, fuck them, not my problem, fuck them, right? And to a degree, I understand both of those points of view. I understand the fucking point of view because it's not my problem. I was responsible. I have two children. I take care of both of my children. I don't have eight children with six different women. I I don't, I didn't do that. So I sh why should I pay for people who do have those problems? Just like, you know, in the healthcare system, why does my health insurance go up? Because s s there's so many obese people in this country and, and they smoke and they, and they do all kinds of stupid things they drink like fish and I'm paying for that with my health insurance I'm 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 paying for that um why isn't my insurance catered to my exact uh uh you know health problems or mental health problems or whatever it should be you know why 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 are everyone's problems sort of spread out equally or at least they try to spread everyone's problems out equally among everybody. I mean, everything has socialism sort of woven into it. You know, the public schools, the insurance, you know, taxes, everything. And really the only answer to that, to completely get out of that, is to live out in the middle of nowhere. Um, Ted Kaczynski style and homeschool your kids and 
and uh, you know live off the land and don't don't produce any any monetary wealth but just you know grow a garden and shoot deer and shoot rabbits and teach your kids to do likewise and it's like go back to the stone age you know um, part of not living in the stone age unfortunately and living in cities is participating in socialism whether you want to or not I don't want to but I'm forced to you know I don't know the answer but these these are the best systems apparently that human beings can come up with it's not fair it's more than fair to the poor people and it's a lot less than fair to the people who take care of their own shit you know uh, people who are self-sufficient hate taxes and people who are not self-sufficient at all they love taxes because they don't have to pay them and when tax dollars come in th they get them so they love that um, there's no there's no practical solution to it um, on this planet with humans running it. Sorry, kind of a shitty video.